Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, you got here just in time. Today, I find myself at the Chickasaw National Recreation Area, Buckhorn Area. Part of the National Park Service in Oklahoma. I'm going to give you a little virtual tour of this fantastic camping area and I don't have little red. In case you're new to the Dude RV experience, Little Red is the high-speed mobility scooter that I typically use for this type of tour, but my high-speed mobility scooter is on the fritz and so I have absconded with Yappy's car, and I'm gonna do the tour with a cool hood mount that I have. Let's get to it and go check out the Chickasaw National Recreation Area, Buckhorn Area. Let's go. We are rolling. We're gonna go pay a, do a little virtual drive through of the Chickasaw National Recreation Area, Buckhorn Area. So let's get to it. Now there is something to be said for doing the virtual tour in Yappy's car and that is that it's air conditioned. But it's not nearly as fun as doing it on Little Red. So we're going to drive through, first we're going to drive through loops A and B. They are primitive camping. Then we will visit the day use areas and then wrap up our virtual tour with loops C and D. We are on the banks of the, where are we? Ha! I'm drawing a blank. We'll go through loop A first. It'll jog my memory. Arbuckle Mountains. We're in the Arbuckle Mountains on Arbuckle Lake. I did a little reading on the Arbuckle Mountains. They are 1,100 feet tall. It's an ancient uplift that runs east to west in Oklahoma and uh, south central Oklahoma. The Chickasaw National Recreation Area is actually the combination of two separate national air quotes parks. So one was a national park and one was the Arbuckle recreation area and in the 80s they were combined into one entity we're gonna we're gonna break the law here breaking the law breaking the law there's no one here but it's a great shot of the lake right there that is arbuckle lake it's a very clear lake and this is most definitely a boater's paradise and I know that because of the size of the parking lot for the boat ramp you'll see these are tent sites there's a communal water facility and a bath so at your site, you do not have power or water.
it is middle of September September 14 2021 the lows last night were in the upper 50s so sleeping in a tent wouldn't be too bad of an experience during the day yesterday it was upper 80s very pleasant weather we'll move on over to loop B seen any wildlife other than Canadian geese since we've been here but I am sure there are plenty of deer in these here woods does have a park host on site. Beautiful sunshine in our eyes this morning. This is also a primitive tent site. I personally think this is the better of the two simply because of that right there. How beautiful that is. I believe that is the only tent camper here so that I've seen so far. That temp, tent camping area is really one of the best that I've seen in, in quite some time in any of the parks that I've visited. Now we'll cruise down and check out the boat ramp and some of the day use areas. The dump station here is in a kind of an odd location. We'll drive by that and I say that because it's in, in relative to the two RV camping loops, it's it's kind of a ways away. But if you're driving through Oklahoma and you need a place to dump your tanks for free, there's no gate to go through to get to this dump station. I also have a, a fresh water fill as well.
we'll finish up at C and D. Won't take us very long. I assure you. I think Cedar Blue Road going back to 177, which is right here. I think that's a scenic drive. Unfortunately, we don't have time to get into that today. We've had to curtail our trip by one day. is the dump station. And fresh water. huge parking lot on our left that's for the boat ramp and then there's another one over here the Buckhorn area of the Chickasaw National Recreation Area also features a very spacious fishing dock so if you don't have a boat and you want to go fishing well there's your fishing dock there's a great big courtesy dock for the boat ramp. That's the ramp right there on the right. It's a lot of paved area right there. Here's a boat ramp. Very big one. You do have to have an Oklahoma State fishing license to fish here. Lake of the Arbuckles is not a real large lake. There's something like 35 miles of shoreline. I'm pretty sure all of that is located within the 
National Park Service area. There are a couple of really, really big houses sitting on the hill overlooking the lake though. Notice I used two really, really big. Let's see if we can get an angle on the one right here. Right there. That's a big drop off though. Gotta, gotta be careful. Jeffy would be very unhappy if, if I damaged her little car. Just a little day use area. There are two more day use areas. We've got a lot of glare on our eyes right now. Sign indicated there's no camping down here. Such a pretty place. There's quite a bit to explore here in the Chickasaw National Recreation Area. Our, our visit is just is way too brief for what there is to see here. So we will have to return. I'd really like to come back in the fall when, when all these trees are changing colors. That'll be pretty.
is our virtual tour of Muckhorn area. Chickasaw National Recreation Area. Hey, I sure hope you enjoyed our little ride through the park. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so very much. I certainly appreciate that. That's why I do what I do. For my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs>